Cushing syndrome. In this video, we will learn about Cushing syndrome, a condition where the body is exposed to high levels of cortisol for an extended period. Cortisol is a hormone produced by the adrenal glands, and it plays a crucial role in regulating metabolism, the immune system, and stress response. The hallmark of Cushing syndrome is increased cortisol, which can be measured through tests like 24-hour urinary-free cortisol excretion levels. Some common signs and symptoms of Cushing syndrome include weight gain, especially around the abdomen and face, leading to a characteristic moon face and buffalo hump. You may also notice truncal obesity. The condition is often associated with hypertension or high blood pressure, hyperglycemia, which can lead to diabetes, and osteoporosis, a condition where bones become brittle and fragile. Additionally, the immune system is suppressed, leading to an increased susceptibility to infections. Women may experience amenorrhea or absence of menstruation, while men might experience impotence. The skin also undergoes changes, becoming thin and easily bruised, and stretch marks, or striae, can appear, especially on the abdomen. Now, cortisol levels can increase due to exogenous or endogenous causes. Exogenous Cushing syndrome is often caused by long-term use of corticosteroid medications. These medications suppress the body's production of adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH, which leads to adrenal atrophy. On the other hand, endogenous causes can be due to conditions like ACTH secreting pituitary adenomas, a type of benign tumor in the pituitary gland, adrenal hyperplasia, and adrenal neoplasms, which include benign adenomas or malignant carcinomas. Other causes include perineoplastic syndromes, where certain cancers, like renal cell carcinoma, secrete ACTH, leading to hypercortisolism. To diagnose Cushing syndrome, doctors will measure the ACTH levels in the blood. If ACTH levels are low, it suggests the source of excess cortisol is from the adrenal glands, so imaging tests like an MRI or CT scan may be performed to detect adrenal tumors. If ACTH levels are high or normal, further tests are needed to identify whether the source is the pituitary gland, leading to a diagnosis of Cushing disease, or from ectopic ACTH production, which could be due to a tumor elsewhere in the body. The dexamethasone suppression test and CRH stimulation test are used to evaluate these conditions further. When the cause of Cushing syndrome is identified, treatment depends on the underlying condition. If it is due to a tumor, surgery to remove the tumor is usually the first step. Pharmacological treatments may also be used to suppress cortisol production, such as drugs like ketoconazole, which inhibit cortisol synthesis. After surgery, patients may need lifelong glucocorticoid replacement therapy to compensate for the lack of cortisol production. In cases where adrenal insufficiency develops after surgery, long-term steroid therapy becomes necessary. In cases where adrenal tumors or pituitary adenomas cannot be surgically removed, other treatments may include radiation therapy. However, complications can arise, like Nelson syndrome, which occurs after bilateral adrenalectomy, removal of both adrenal glands, especially when there is an undiagnosed pituitary adenoma. This leads to an overproduction of ACTH and melanocyte-stimulating hormone, MSH, resulting in the symptoms like hyperpigmentation and headaches, often caused by the pressure of the tumor on the optic nerves.